in a moment, but welcome to the church. First time here. I want you young people to feel at home with us, not, not because we say it, but because you feel it. Because I've, I've been told to be at home in many places, but I wasn't at home. But you know, you, you be at home with us tonight, and uh, it's good to see you. You too, Joe, and the niece back here, and this young lady right beside you. God bless you. Well, it's good to see Joe and Denise back here. Yeah. 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 Their work for the Good Home Continuers, their ministry for prodigal daughters. And uh, we appreciate the, uh, the folks you've been sending our way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You've been out there talking about us, and uh, oh, yeah. I don't mind that kind of talk. Just keep yeah. that kind of talk back. Uh, Joe and Denise. God bless you and the prodigal daughters over here and that fine young man in the chair there. But it's a wonderful thing to have the family of God. Don, good to see you over here. Praise God. Uh, these folks are just part of us to come into the church. Brother Lewis, uh, good to see you back there. Praise God. And uh, we're thankful for that. But we, uh, we really appreciate the people of God here tonight. Very happy, of course, to have all week long to have had uh, Brother Jared Manning, Sister Sandra, uh, Pastor of New Destiny Church from Greenfield, Tennessee, and uh, he's been doing some powerful preaching. And I think the daughters are here tonight. Are both of them one here of back them. there? And one of them is here. I see right there. Revival. Uh, Monday night was Bible study here, and then Tuesday night the Bible service. Wednesday night the powerful preaching for the many, and and the uh, service filled with the Holy Ghost. And then uh, Thursday night we were 50 miles south at Fort Charlotte, and enjoyed that service tremendously. Last night we were over in Sebring, uh, to the east of us uh, here. And had a powerful service for Brother Zonadel yes, and the church there. And uh, so it's been all week long, it's been just going to meetings, just getting into the meetings and hearing good preaching and just letting the Lord bless and uh, the people of God coming together. I've seen people give their lives to Christ and turn their lives over to God. We, we have no program here tonight. We're not a program worshiping church. We worship by the Holy Ghost. Yes. We worship by the Spirit of the living God. Uh, whatever the Holy Spirit speaks to you, obey the Holy Spirit. Yes. Obey the Holy Ghost. We don't have a, any, any set moment that we have to do just that set thing. We're going to worship God. And we're going to wait on God and I don't even want to put Brother Manning under pressure. Now he's got uh, three services tomorrow, and he can plug in tonight anywhere he wants to plug in. And Brother Hardy can take a just kind of breather tonight and just rest, you know. Uh, that's, that's fine because he's been laboring hard, and I don't want to put him under the, the continual pressure. So you just obey the Lord tonight, Brother Manning, and then uh, you'll be. Folks, I can hear you minister every night, any time, any place. Praise God. It's good to see Brother Tracy back. Yeah, yeah. We're, we'll get Brother Tracy here. And he's uh, hit back with us uh, there. But it's good to see Brother David Tracy yes. home. Uh, he got to fish some. He got to relax with his family some and uh, got to see Ohio and the Buckeye State again, and now he's back home to work, so we're glad to see him back here on the job. Glad to see you young people tonight. But Randy, Sean, it's good to see you on the job. 
and to Mary, yes. Yes, she has been having a very difficult time. I don't think she's in, is she in the service today? Way in the back. Well, before the meeting's over, Loretta, we'll, we'll uh, let the Lord get to you and she has a sciatic a nerve that's just really, really working her over. And anybody that's playing with that knows what that is. Uh, but uh, that's a cobra that bites the body and they feel it all over. But before the meeting is over, God can heal you, loose you, let you go. Because there's nothing impossible with God. Nothing. nothing. Everyone say it with me. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing. Don't don't interject anything in there. Nothing. The blind see, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. Uh, it, it happened 2,000 years ago. It happens today. And if it doesn't happen today, it didn't happen then. If it happened then, it'll happen today. So we're going to believe God tonight. Believe God. Have faith in God, the scripture said. So we're going to believe God, trust God, and we, uh, while we're I'm on my feet now for a moment, we'll just go ahead and I'm going to join me in one mind, one accord here, and we're going to believe God for all of the nursing home, the hospital, uh, the sick, the afflicted here, in New Destiny, in the Kingsport, the churches throughout America, God's family, wherever they are, yes, sir. Uh, the needs tonight of those that are possessed with drugs and demons and and all that America is facing right now, uh, <laughs> this lifestyle we have, um, and I believe God can hear us pray tonight. Yes, I believe, I, I know God can hear us pray. Yes, and I believe that the impossible can be done. Yes. Um, God is on the scene to do it. And wherever they are, without uh, calling any names whatsoever, just believe in God yes. for every need, every yes. need everywhere. Well, after all, we see the sparrow. Uh, my God, that's a great big God, isn't it? Yes. You can see a sparrow fall to the earth yes. and know about it. And very hairs of your head be numbered. Praise God, even when you lose them. God kept, <laughs> God kept uh, track of them. Amen. You say, well, I used to have them. God, God knows me. If he numbers all the stars, he knows where the hairs are. Praise God. Amen. That's how big God is. That's how big God is. So we're going to pray tonight and believe God. Let's, let's lift our hands to one another and out toward heaven and touch each other. And let's go right now in one mind and one accord and believe God. Let's believe God. Everybody believe God. Everybody in one mind, in one accord. It doesn't matter where you are in the building. It doesn't matter who you are. You can pray solemnly. You can pray verbally. You can pray on your knees. You can pray standing. You can pray. But pray right now. Pray. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's lift our voices. Let's pray let's out. Let's, let's call out right now. Oh, living God, hear the plea of your people tonight for the sick, the afflicted, those that are bound, those that have demons and drugs and prostitution and sin and the sin houses. Uh, pray, oh God, for those that are addicts and those that are drunkards and those that have no control over their life. We pray for those in the nursing home. We pray for those in the hospital. We pray for the aged and we pray for the young and we pray for our nation and our president and our Congress and all that represents America. Tonight, Lord, tonight, Lord, help your people to pray. Oh God, let us pray in the name of Jesus. How many feel like calling on the Lord tonight? Let's call on the Lord right now. God, touch Sister Loretta sitting back there in the back of the house. Lord, send a healing balm. And if there's anyone here that needs a touch of heaven, let them receive it tonight as we're in one mind and one accord as they were in the upper room. And suddenly there came 
from heaven the sound of a rushing mighty wind and filled the house where they were sitting. I believe tonight. I believe. I believe. I believe. In the name of Jesus, touch your neighbor and say, I believe, neighbor. And God is going to be great among us tonight. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name.
trees, we're looking at the flowers and how grand, grand they are, you know, growing oh, yeah. up. Yes. But when we think about what's on the ground, the roots, they're going yeah. deep and yeah. deep yeah. For, for everything, you know, for the nourishment, for the water. Yeah. That's what we need to go. We need yeah. to go deeper yeah. and deeper yeah. for, you know, for the glory of God. But we also need to go up high yeah. like the trees do 
to, to go higher and higher in his glory. Because we're not here for us, for ourselves, but we're here for him. We need to glorify him. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. There's a son of Israel coming. Glorify the Lord today because we've been going through a lot of persecution in our work. Um, they came against most of the Christians at, at work, and they were telling us that we had to. We it was an order that we had to work every other Saturday and Sunday. That would consume my entire weekend. For two, I mean, I would only be able to come to two services in the entire month. So I was like, and I just stood there, and, and I was being told, and I was being told harshly that this is the way it was going to be. Yes. And I said, You're, don't make me make a choice. Yes. I said, I've been with you almost nine years. Don't make me make a choice. I said, because this is worldly. Yes. This is temporal. Yes. I said, but he's eternal. Yes. And I stood, I stood with all that were in our work, yes. and I looked up that the law in Florida yes. has to accommodate yes. when we request something as Christians. Yes. When we request a schedule, it's supposed to accommodate us. Yes. If not, yes. we can get an attorney. Amen. Yes. So I told them that. I went up to the scheduler and I said, I know that the Lord has always favored me. I said, I'm not going to say you have. Because it's the Lord that has always favored me. And he's kept me. He has. Since I was a child. I said, this is the first job I've ever had to work Sunday. And I said, and I had to, prior to me going on vacation, I had to work two consecutive Sundays. And I was very upset. I tried to change it. They wouldn't change it for me. Because they were trying to hammer us down. And I said, Lord, I know that you're with me. And I know that you're going to help me. And when I went to the scheduler and I said, this is the law of Florida. Let me show you how we as children of the most high king get to think. I said, I said, you are to accommodate me. Not me accommodate your schedule. You accommodate my schedule. I said, because I am to be in the house of the Lord on Sunday. I said, I need to be there on Saturdays. I said, but I will bend a little and work every other Saturday for you. Yes. I said, I'll do that. And when we stood, they gave me my schedule. Yeah. And I praise God, because we are children of the most high king. And I've been getting really mistreated at work lately. And Pastor knows, because I've shared with him, I have been getting mistreated. And, but I have to file agreements against this corporation because I'm not just anybody. No, I'm his child. They're coming against his child. And I know that he is on my side. And he knows, and I know that what the laws say when it comes to a child of God. Even though this world is turning against it. Even though we can't lift up the name of Jesus at work. Even though we can't even put you know, the Ten Commandments back on the walls of our legal system. Even though we can't do those things, guess what? The law already had formed laws that would defend us. So we need to stand as children of the Most High King and say, I am. I am. Because he is the greatest. Hallelujah. And I praise God. I praise God because I stand firm in who I am in Christ. And I know that my service in healthcare is a service is a service from my heart That's because right. God placed that in me. Right. And my patients feel it. And I said, none of you can say, I said, none of you can say that I do not do my work the way it's supposed to be done. And I say, and I serve with all my heart. I said, because that is my sister, that is my brother, that is my grandmother, that is my great grandmother, that is who it is for me. And I said, and I serve as such. So you have nothing to say. And I said, besides that, all the letters that come to you, that you receive from people that have, I've served, those letters speak who I am. I don't have to really defend myself because 
God will defend everything I stand for. Well, it's time we the people stand up for is right. It's time we square our shoulders back and raise our swords to fight. For the Bible is our weapon and the spirit is our shield. The church is for the members to be worthy. Oh. 
I went in there, they, they told me what they felt like they needed to tell me. I signed my papers. They said, do you have anything you need to say? I said, no, it doesn't matter what I say. You've already made your decision, so I have nothing to say. Have a nice life. And I walked out the door, went and got my stuff, left. I got in the car and I completely fell apart. I said, God, we've been down this road before. About seven or eight years ago, I lost my job because of a new company that took over the same thing and brought in their own people and got rid of everybody in the staff. And I went 11 months without a job. And six of those months, I had no car. I couldn't come to church. I couldn't hang out with my friends. I couldn't do nothing. Yes. And back then, the economy was really bad. Like, it was really difficult to find a job. But here we are in 2017, and it's, it's a lot easier to find a job, but it's a lot harder to keep a job. It's a lot harder to find a job making money when you've made money, decent money in a place, and then you have to start all over again somewhere else. And um, I, came to I wasn't going to come to church Wednesday night because I was so frustrated and I was so angry. But I thought, you know, that's the time, you're that's the time I need to be here. That's the time I need to come to church. And I came in here and sat down, and I kid you not, I think that message you preached, Brother Manning, Wednesday night was for me. Because even in the bad, and even in the trial, and even in the valley, you praise God. You praise God for the next time. No, I didn't have a job in that 24-hour period, but I still had a car. I still had a place to live. I still have my family. I still have a church. I still have breath in my body. So I was trying to dwell on those things. And um, Darian insisted that I talk to Brother Marshall about church Wednesday night. And I didn't want to bother him because he's got his, he's got enough to deal with. But Darian said, that's what he's here for. He's your pastor. He's your shepherd. He's here to pray for you and to guide you and to help you get where you need to go. And um, it was Thursday. We were at the grocery store, Patty and I. And I got a phone call in the grocery store. My administrator that they had let go previously before me called me and she said, I have something for you. She says, it's only PRN, which is it's only as I need you, but it's something to get you started and get you on your feet. Do you want it? I said, of course, I'll take it. I'll be there first thing in the morning at 9 o'clock. I went in there yesterday morning at 9 o'clock, sat down, started filling out my application and taking the CNA test. This lady comes out and she says, we need to do a drug test. And I'm like, well, you don't do that till after the interview, till after I've been hired. And I didn't click in my brain. So I'm like, okay. So I stopped what I was doing. We went and did that, came back and sat down. I didn't even get to finish the um, application. The administrator came out from his office Woo! and he says, I have a full time position. Yeah. 
hold up and act all holier than now. Yeah. I, can, I can come down here a little bit. Amen. I can do that. But well, I'm so thankful. Yes. Oh, the yes. joy, joy, joy. Yes. What he's done for me. Thank you, Lord. telephone thing and uh, <laughs> and uh, I was liking it pretty good you know and and uh, it it got when it got done I shut it off and my husband said well I was kind of enjoying that <laughs> and I said well that's the first time he's out <laughs> But uh, uh, last night, I, I, I did, he was doing his thing on the computer, and I'm sitting at the kitchen counter, and I'm doing my thing on the phone. And then when he come out with that, that, that just made me just kind of smile all inside. All inside. It made me feel good. You know what? God can save him. Amen. If he saved me from yeah. where I came from, yeah. he can do more yeah. than that yeah. for him. Yeah. Lord, yes. And if you don't go, I'm still going. Yeah. I'm going yeah. this way. Yes, yes. Yes. Because God has been good yes. to me. Yes. Yes. I appreciate what he's done for my yes. family. Yes. I appreciate what he's done to my prior family. How we, how we started out when I was just a youngster. And uh, played music, had fun, loved the Lord, and uh, get our heads stumped once in a while. But now, you know, we didn't do just right. And you know what? I think that's the best thing that ever happened to Amen. us. I love the Lord for the way my father raised me. Amen. Yes. And if the Lord thumps my head, I'll take it. <laughs> and I just love the Lord. Amen. 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 so much love in God. I was there two weeks ago. Uh, my brother really blessed me with, with, with a message. Yes. You know? And um, Hebrews 6, 11 says that without um, faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. Right. Amen. Our, fund, our foundation is going to be, be shaken. Amen. And the, the enemy is going to try everything. Amen. But it is our job. It is our duty. It is our responsibility. Amen. To do exactly what the Bible says in Amen, 12 brother. 2. Keep our eyes on Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The author and finisher of our faith. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. God, I was um I really love that second, second um 
uh, not, I don't know if it was the second verse, but the verse that we kept repeating in, in the in the song, uh, the first song that uh, the choir sing. Yes. When he says that God did not, I, I'm paraphrasing it. He didn't spare his own son. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Come on. You know, it's if God just sent His son for us here today. Yes. Amen. Let me tell you, if you need healing. By his stripes, we are healed today. Yeah. If you need, if whatever that you need, amen, amen hallelujah. It's not going to be about how much you do, but it's going to be how much he did on the cross. That's right, amen. amen, hallelujah. Amen, brother. Amen. Let's, um, let's try to read Ephesians 2 real quick and uh, get out of the way. <laughs> they didn't tend to be, they didn't tend to be too long. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Blessings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Uh, you know, with the, with the testimonies, just like I've said, like from Sister Patty, you know, to Sister Chandy and everything, uh, you know, I think it's a beginning. Yeah. Amen. 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 We need, all we need to do is to buckle up. Amen. 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 <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Buckle up. It's a beginning. That's right. Amen. Up. Yeah, we haven't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says that no servant is greater than the master. He said so. And that's what I love in God. God, in God there's no lie. Amen. You know, God told us if we eat out of it, we will die. Then we, then we spiritually we're out of God. Amen. Amen. For 4,500 years we tried. We could, couldn't do nothing. But let me tell you, I thank God for that man of God. Hallelujah. 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 He's done so much for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I thank God for that man of God in me. Yes. Amen. Yes. I said he's, I don't know about you, but he's done so much for me. Amen. Brother. It took my sins away. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, um, Ephesians 2 says that uh, the first the first verse. Um, Hallelujah. He said that and, and you had he quitting who were dead in trespasses oh, yes. and oh. sin. Hallelujah. Amen. In time past, you were according to the course of this world. Right. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. According to the prince of the power of the air. Yeah. And the spirit that walketh walk in the children of disobedience. Yes. Let me tell you, you sometimes hear the call and you, you know, <laughs> hallelujah. I love, I, I really love this church. What the Bible says that if you think you bring yourself here, you lie. It takes some supernatural power to bring you in. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. Sometimes, somewhere, you hear the call. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you, you being obedient, let the power of God bring you here. Yes, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish you happy that you here tonight. I don't know, but I feel I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, we sing that song that says that God's not dead. Yeah. Hallelujah. I feel, it, I feel it in my head. I feel it in my head. I feel it in my soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, when they get out there and put the pressure on you, you put in God first. Because God is a step ahead of you. Yeah. I heard that while Sister Ch Chandy was, was testifying. You know, she was there filling out the application, and they were like, you, you got to go ahead and, and do a drug test. Yeah. She, she, she said it. She was slow. Yeah. But let me tell you, God was a step ahead. Yeah. She right. already had that drug. Yeah. Let me tell you, he, he sent his son to die for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Guess what? What a drug. He'll take care of, take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. What a drug. That yeah. God would... Let me keep on going. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Verse, verse 3 says that, um, you know, among, among whom we also had our conversation in time past. Loss of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh. And were by nature children of wrath, even as others. But God. God. Hallelujah. But God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rich in mercy. Hallelujah. For his great love. Hallelujah. He loved us. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I wish you happy that God loved you. Yes. Hallelujah. John 3.16 says that God so loved the world. Hallelujah. If you think that you're never part of the world, you lie to yourself. Hallelujah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. For whoever believes in him shall not perish. <coughs> Hallelujah. But it, it don't stay there. Oh, Hallelujah. After, after knowing the love of God, we get to know the love of Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
<laughs> I'm still thinking about two weeks ago. I, I, I don't know. Hey man, that love overflowed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My father put it in a way that I understood that make a lot of mu much more sense to me. Come on. Yeah. You know, not to, to comprehend, but to apprehend. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, when you're in time of hardship, hallelujah, it don't take for you to understand the love of God, but it takes for you to reach out. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't know, I reach out yeah. and yeah. pull out the love of God and tell yeah. God, I didn't bring myself here. Yeah. And I know that you just started the good work in me. Yeah. Hallelujah. You'll be able to predict it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, like I said, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not planning on you being there <laughs> too long. You know, I don't want a lot of work to sit together. But let me tell you, I was sick in living sin. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, sick in good life for long. Hallelujah. But the grass is on the sea. present us, you know, without spot or blemish. You know, Peter yeah, says yeah. that you are a chosen nation, yeah. a royal yeah. priesthood. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I wish you happy for God, for God changing you. Yeah. Hallelujah. We sing that song that says, it's changing me. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm not the same one that I used to be. Yeah. Hallelujah. Guess what? I'm heaven bound. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm on my way to heaven. I'm on my way to heaven. Changing is taking care of me. That's why we don't have to be afraid of being different, God's people. That's right. Amen. Amen. We're being called to be like Christ. Amen. Let's not be ashamed of being different. Amen. God says that I am not afraid of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. It is power. Hell. Power. Hell. Hallelujah. Hell. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, we probably so, don't see the manifestation of the power yet, but let's stay here a little longer. Yes. Let's keep bringing ourselves here. Yes. Let's pray that God keep bringing us here. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were waiting, you know, patiently. Yeah. You know, in the book of Acts, we know that. Yeah. Hallelujah. And guess what? When that power fell on them, yeah. hallelujah, they thought they were drunk. Yeah. But let me tell you, they were not drunk as they were supposed to. That yeah. they thought they were. Hallelujah. But that was the power of God moving yeah. in there. Yeah. I want you, I mean, I'm ready for that. Yes, sir. To see the manifestation of the power yes. of God. Yes. I mean, I've been in there before, and I know God is ready to pour himself yes. into me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's just get ready. Yes. Let's just get our vessel yes. ready. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because guess what? We're moving on in Jesus' name. Yes. We're, not, we're not staying here, but we're moving on. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I, like I said, I, I don't sing, but if, I, if we can only sing a, a verse of that song. Love lifted me. <coughs> Love lifted. I, I don't know. Everybody that can sing it, you know, just, just, just help me with that. May God bless you. I was really happy to be here. Amen. Hallelujah.
is so good again to be here tonight, uh, to be here with you saints of God, to be here uh, with Brother and Sister Marlowe. Uh, we have so enjoyed ourselves so far uh, as we have been here. And as he said, we've got a full day tomorrow. Uh, but we thank you so much for the hospitality and the compassion and love uh, that you have shown to our family. We are so very grateful and uh, we are forever indebted we love in our you. hearts. Uh, toward you all because of the love that has been shown to us. Uh, I, I don't want to take a long time here tonight. I'm going to try to expedite very quickly what I have to say. Um, because Brother Marlowe said that his pastor, he told me one time, he said his pastor always said, leave them longing, not loathing. Amen. So I will do my best. I will do my best uh, to do so. But I, I love, I love uh, the theme of the service tonight. Uh, I love what that brother said. I, I'm, I'm a new creature. Uh, the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is indeed a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Uh, Paul, at one point uh, in, in his ministry, began to tout uh, the accolades of who he was. You know, he said, I was. Uh, he said, I was a Pharisee uh, concerning the law. I was a Pharisee. Uh, he said, uh, concerning the persecution of the church, he said, I excel uh, above many of my own equals in my own nation. He said, I was of the tribe of Benjamin, circumcised, circumcised the eighth day after the tribe of Benjamin. I mean, he's giving all of these accolades and everything that he had done. But he said, I counted it all the dumb yes. that I might win Christ, yes. that I might yes. gain Christ. And, and, and it meant more to him to have Jesus, uh, even in persecution and even in suffering. It meant more to him to have Jesus than all of the pleasure and all of the preeminence and all of the popularity that he had among all of the religious elements of his day. He was willing to let all of that go and count it as less than nothing that he might attain under Christ. But we are, the, the, the power of the gospel, saints of God, is not that we can come bring people in and give them a good feeling. No. No. That's, that's not the power of the gospel. No. The power of the gospel, sometimes, it won't make you feel good. But the Bible said it is a sharp two-edged sword, piercing a sunder, even to joint and marrow to a marrow to the, uh, to the, to the it says it's a discerner, uh, even of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Sometimes the gospel is painful, but the power of the gospel is not in hype, it's not in emotionalism. The power of the gospel is in a changed life. The power of the gospel is in a changed heart. But he said, I will take out of you the heart of stone, and I will put in you a heart of flesh. And he said, I will write my word upon your heart. turn quickly with me to Romans 8 and verse 14. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to quickly expedite this. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at your neighbor and tell him, I'm a changed life. I'm a changed life. Somebody needs to know that tonight. Somebody needs to know that God won't pick you up from where you are just to leave you where you've been. But when the Lord gets a hold of your life, he will turn you around. Look at your neighbor and tell him, I don't have to be the same. Hallelujah. I didn't come to Jesus to remain who I was. If that's all the power he's got, you can take it. I'm out of here. But I have found that there's power in the Holy Ghost. received 
the spirit of bondage again unto fear. But you have received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba. Now, I want you to understand, uh, in, in, in Romans here, this is the only epistle that Paul deals with adoption. He doesn't talk about it anywhere else. This is it. And I wondered, because I have somewhat of an analytical mind, so when I see something like that, I want to know why would he just use it in Rome? So I begin to do some research on Roman adoption. And I want you to understand that as a child, uh, Paul said in Galatians, he said, uh, uh, he said uh, 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 when a child is a child, he said he differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. In other words, when a child uh, in Roman culture is a child, uh, he has no more rights, no more power. He has no more value than a servant. And so the father could do, uh, his, 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 his biological father, his original father, could do with him whatever he wanted to. Yeah. And so if that father had debts, he could, he, could, he could lease that son to the person that he was indebted to. Yeah. And that son would have to work yeah. off the debt of that father. If the, if the cost was too high, he could sell his son. Yeah. To, the, to, the, to the person he was indebted to yeah. to forgive him yeah. of the loan or the money that he owed. Yeah. And so a child in Roman culture had no value. No. Oh in fact, if a father wanted to, he could kill his son without reprisal. Because a child had no value. There are some of you that have lived your life without value. Amen. Your father Adam Amen. was a bondman. Amen. And he committed a costly price. Yes, yes. He sold us out. Yes. And he sold us out so desperately yes. that nothing he could have done could have paid the debt Amen. that he owed. Amen. 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 And so all of us were born having our father's debt. Born. Uh, he's, David said I was I a was, uh, 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 conceived in a, uh, uh, what is it? I was, I was shaken in, 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 in sin. He said in an iniquity did my mother conceive me in the lowest parts of the earth. Brother, when I was born, my daddy's debt was all over me. And there was nothing that I could do to redeem myself from the costly price of Adam's transgression. He owned a debt he could not pay. And so he passed it down to us. He said, the Bible says uh, that, that, that in that one man's sin, he said, death then passed down upon all of us. We all have been, uh, been made partakers of Adam's death. But, but Paul said, when you come to Jesus, something changes. He said, you have not received the, uh, the, the spirit of adoption uh, or the, the, uh, unto bondage. You've not been adopted unto bondage. No, you haven't. You see, when, when a child, uh, when, when, when a Roman citizen would come to a child and they would adopt that child, two things took place. Two things took place. No longer did the original father have any power over that child. He lost all authority. All of it. Secondly, no longer was that child indebted under his father's death. Because when the adoption was signed, deliverance took place. And that child no longer had to yield to the death of his original father. Nor did his original father have authority over him to do whatever he wanted with him.
beat him, spat, uh, smacked him, and beat him with their fists. But I'm telling you, he never gave in. He never quit. But the Bible said that as a lamb, before his shearers, he was dumb. He opened not his mouth. Good God in heaven. Hallelujah. And they took him from judgment hall to judgment hall. Biologically, scientifically, he should have died when they whipped him with the cat of nine tails. But he had a purpose. He had an intention. Oh, come on. Come on. That no longer should I live in the bondage of Father Adam. My God, he took that body, he took Adam, and he drug him from judgment hall to judgment hall. They took him down the Via Della Rosa and he drug him down the way of suffering. They took him to Marquardt and he dragged him up the heat because he was getting ready to put to between heaven and earth till every drop of blood poured out and all of a sudden he understands atonement is made Christ has been paid and I'm sure that that body wanted to give up before he did but he just made that body continue to live until the price has been paid he held We were bond servants yes. at birth. But he desired, hallelujah, something better for us. He raised up 40, 40 days, going in and out among them, showing himself alive with many infallible proofs. At the 40th day, he ascended back to the Father. But he said, go into Jerusalem and tarry until you be endued with power from on high. He said, for you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. He said, and you shall be my witnesses in Judea, in Samaria, even unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. And here they went for 10 days in the upper room. Um, and the Bible said it when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Oh, hallelujah. They were all with one mind in one place. Uh, and suddenly there came from heaven the sound of a rushing mighty wind and golden tongues like a fire set upon the wall. And they all began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit came to earth. Tell you the Holy Ghost isn't there just so you can speak in tongues. But there was a transaction that happened when I received the Holy Ghost. I was delivered from the dead of Adam. And I have become the Son of God. No longer can Adam cast down to me the debt that he owes. Because when I became adopted, Adam lost all authority over me. And I was no longer held responsible. Because we think we're still bond servants to Adam to pay the debt that Adam paid. And we're living after the flesh. But I'm telling you, there's another spirit. It's called the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. And the Bible said if you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. adopted 
to bondage. No. Look at your neighbor tell I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. We used to sing a song that says, I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. I am free from the guilt of my past. I have trained my shackles for a glorious song. It says I'm free. Praise the Lord. Free at last. I am free from the fear of tomorrow.
57 years ago trusting God I came here when eight people was a total congregation I've trusted God for these buildings and finances around these two blocks of property there's an offering box against the wall when you leave tonight I'm going to trust you to place your tithing and offering because I believe my God can receive that offering, yes, yes. our offering tonight, yes, yes. just the way I simply give it. Yes. I'm going to trust you because you are God's people. And I can trust you. Amen. I can say we're going to pass the baskets and, and uh, put our the offering pans. But I believe God will lay it upon every heart. And he'll tell you what to give to yes to take care Come on. of this place, not just this place. Come on, brother. Mark. Because yes. Monday morning, I'm going to be writing a check to help a minister not even here for at least $500 too, because he's having surgery in another city, back surgery. And uh, we're going to help him from this church right here. Because God spoke to me to do it. And that man has been here to preach and bless the church. And he's lifted us up. And uh, I don't want that man to be short. I want to give. And God will bless. And he'll bless this church. Praise God. Because I've done it many times and I've watched the Lord bless. Many times. You never can outgive God. You can never outgive God. <coughs> Now, that's true, isn't it? Yes, yes. This man painted the picture so vividly tonight. Brother, yes. Brother. Oh, yes. He painted such a picture. Oh, yes. You can never outgive God right. the cross himself. Yes. So I'm going to trust you to do that. And I believe God will give us what we have need of. And I believe every one of you will just obey God. Praise God, it takes just a moment to go by the offering box and it's there. And 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 God will bless you for giving. And I, I want to I want to welcome God's family here tonight. And is it Elaine and Lewis, is it? Is that right? And the first time here, but the presence of God touched this country. God led you here. God led you here. We have service tomorrow. Actually, we'll be busy all morning and afternoon. But they'll be in Port Charlotte at 10 over at the Blackburn. Is it Blackburn? Blackburn Elementary School in um, uh, Ellen and Gillette Road, right off Ellen and Gillette Road. What street is that? 17. 17th Street. Uh, we'll be there at 10 o'clock in the morning with the bridge. And uh, and Brother Farias will be here at 10.30 with a bilingual. There'll be those three services going on. And then we'll get her back here at 2 o'clock. And we'll be here at 2. And then we'll be here at 6 tomorrow. We've got a full day. Someone said, uh, Brother Marlowe, Aren't you afraid you'll wear out? I'd rather wear out than rust out. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 I'd rather wear out than rust out. 
Praise our God. That's right. So, you know, <laughs> wouldn't you, Jessica? Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> I want you to tell us your name. Tell Misty. us. Misty. 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 It's a beautiful name. Thank you. Well, tonight the Lord has given you another step. Praise Thank God, God for the work the prodigal daughters are doing. Yes. 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 Thank yes. God yes. for doing the news. Yes. 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 Praise yes. God. Yes. And this church must get an offering in this week to you to help you. Right. We must do it. We haven't done that in a few weeks now. We must catch up. Praise God. So the Lord is good and he's done a great work tonight. Yeah. And, and um, we, we really appreciate from Arcadia. See part of my family from over in Arcadia. Uh, Sheila, that daughter of yours. There's another miracle back there, Jane. Shannon, you're going to stand up? No, don't be embarrassed. All right, well, wave your hand. Anyway. A few weeks ago, they said cancer was just going to overtake her body. But Jesus stepped in. Yeah, yeah. Shannon can't hardly miss, she doesn't want to miss a service. Yeah. She doesn't want to miss a meeting. Yeah. Praise our God. Praise God. Because God has given her a new life. Yes. And so we have much to praise him for tonight. We want to pray for Sister Bivens. Is that there's a whole family missing over there. Sister Sheena Bivens. She's in a um, South Bay, uh, I believe it's called Hospital in uh, Sun City, and uh, just got a note that said she was in extreme pain, chest pain, and uh, it took her in this afternoon. We missed the Bivens family tonight, yes. and we want to pray for Sheena Bivens as we leave tonight. And uh, Loretta? Are you are you uh, are you knowing and feeling and are you sure uh, in your spirit that before this weekend is through, God's going to chase that sciatica nerve yes. and uh, give yes. you victory? Yes. And do you believe that tonight? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. You believe it, Loretta? Yes. All right. Before you leave, I I want you while we're uh, after we pray and, and uh, before you leave. I want some of the elders to lay hands on you and let you go to bed tonight without pain. Yes. Because Jesus yes. can do it. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. I just want to say that a couple weeks ago, I was in so much pain, I couldn't even hardly walk. And Brother Marlowe and the elders, they anointed a handkerchief with oil and prayed over it. Brother Marlow um, gave me the instruction to put that on the hip where I was hurting and to sleep on it. And I had been doing that. And um, I still get stiff sometimes, but the pain is gone. And uh, it's been, I didn't want to testify to that until I tested it. And uh, the other, last night, my neck was getting stiff and hurting, so I thought, well, there's enough Holy Spirit to cover my neck, too. Amen. <laughs> so I put the cloth up by my neck, and I praise God for his healing mercies on my body. Yay. And my neck is pretty good, and my hip's not hurting. Amen. And I just praise God for my Praise God. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Chicago girl has something to praise her. I do, hallelujah. She told me she was a Chicago girl. <laughs> praise God. The Windy City. Windy City. <laughs> <laughs> Whether there's a microphone or not, I don't need it. <laughs> you are a reincarnation, is what you are. Praise God. 
I am so thankful to see one of our elders home tonight. Brother Don Blanchard. He missed uh, unusual for Don. He missed work from Thursday until right on up um, through the weekend, right? He just been unable to really be at full speed. And so dizzy and couldn't walk, couldn't stand up. Um, missed service, and, and we just missed him so much. And uh, but now the Lord is prevailing. Brother Don Langford is back in his place, and I thank God for this elder that's been tested to the Lord. Give him help. Praise God. Brother Don doesn't miss. He doesn't give up. He doesn't give in. And I wouldn't take anything tonight for the theme of this service. Stand your ground. Yes. And the enemy will flee. You Amen. said we don't owe any of Adam's death tonight. No, we are yes, free. Yes, We've yes, been adopted. Yes, Praise yes, our God. So God is good. Have a great day tomorrow. And the Lord bless you. And remember, we love you very much. Turn to your neighbor and say, The Lord bless your neighbor. And I praise God. I give him the glory. Amen. Remember the offering as you go tonight and make it a bountiful.